this weekend, our next guest roasted the bejesus out of Tom Brady on Netflix. Next weekend, she has a new comedy special on HBO and Max. Nikki Glaser, Someday You'll Die, premieres Saturday. Please welcome Nikki Glaser. <laughs> See you. You were uh, you. fantastic on uh, Sunday night. Thank you really you so did much. such a great job. You emailed me, and that meant so much to me. You reaching out. Uh, My and wife and I that. were watching. Like, My, man, your jokes are very precise and Thank just you. so good, and one after the other, and you just killed it. You oh, really, thanks. really great. I, I worked really hard. Yeah. Did you meet um, Josh Brolin backstage? I, I just saw him in passing, but I actually had a moment with him um, earlier this week that he doesn't know about. People kept sending me this picture that he had posted on Instagram of him and his wife, and it looked identical to me. People kept oh, saying, on. congratulations on your relationship with Josh Brolin. It seems to be going great. Look at this picture. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been kissed with that passion in my life. These two, this is the kind of couple where you're just like, I don't know if I'll ever experience that kind of love. Like, I'm sure she was just saying goodbye to him as he went to go to the car to get her phone charger that she left out. Like, this is the kind of couple that loves themselves in that way. They invite Annie Leibovitz over before he goes to Whole Foods. To yeah. Get well, I hope that was Annie Leibovitz, because yeah. otherwise we have to imagine Josh Josh going like this <laughs> exactly. while they're kissing, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it does yeah, look like you. That's, uh, that's thank interesting. You. Wow, like, you... I needed this because uh, she's gorgeous, and I needed that. Like, it was a nice way to start with because then the rest of the, the roast, I got called some pretty awful things. It makes you, you question your, your life and the, your looks and all that does stuff. Does it, though? Does it really? It, it, it does sink in. You've done the roast. Does it sink in for you when they no. come at you? Well, really? a little bit, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. But I feel like you get the dumbest jokes about you because uh. it's just all about your sex life. Like, the whole thing is about yeah. your sex life. It's like, all right, I, you know. It's very, it seems very outdated, doesn't it? It does. Uh, but, uh, yes, it does. And it's nice, though, because you go, oh, that's they're not coming after anything else. And that's just, I'm the, uh. one of the only women on here. In fact, I was one of two women on the, the dais Backstage, our room, literally everyone's rooms have their name on them. Ours just said female on it. That, that was... <laughs> I literally think it was just the bathroom. Like, they were just, that's fine. Women, yeah. So it was, but... yeah, it was an intimidating thing to walk into. But yeah, I kind of, you know, but I went after, I, I kind of uh, fed into that by, you know, throwing myself at Tom Brady during my... my yeah, well, yeah, bit. but I can't, I don't think you can help but throw yourself at Tom Brady. When Tom Brady was here, I was throwing myself at Tom Is Brady. It? It's insane to look at. Isn't it, it is. It's, he's unreal. I was, one of my jokes, I was going to say he's like AI, but without the intelligence. But I think he had. <laughs> <laughs> I do think he's smart, though, so I pulled it last minute. <laughs> You what go, else did oh, you? Man. What else didn't you say about Tom? Oh God! What did I not say? You know, one of the moments that I go, oh, we can go there. He went after. Um, uh, he did a joke about Kim Kardashian, who was there, yes. who I thought was kind of off limits, right? Because I just, uh, she's here. She takes enough of a being. She's not on the stage. But then he had a joke about, you know, are you more scared about the jokes or the fact that, you know, your kids are with Kanye right now? Like, is that <laughs> yes, a great joke? And I was like, I didn't even know we could really go there because I, I was like, I'm not gonna do any jokes related to the, 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 um, the, the his kids. Yeah. You know, especially the kiss moment that I didn't think was weird. My dad kissed me on the lips as a kid, and it, well into my, like, 20s. My, my dad <laughs> still kisses me on he the does? lips. Yes. I put an end to mine because I was just like this. I can't. I'm like things are getting wires are getting crossed when we kiss sometimes, and I can't do it anymore. And he was very sad because it's not a creepy thing at all. And he's just like, you know, we kiss in this family. I'm like, I understand that, but why? Why don't you and mom ever do this then? Like, why is it? <laughs> why is it to fall on me? Do we really kiss this family? <laughs> well, dad and mom happen My dad to be and in, mom the, are uh, here. in the audience. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. No. No, that was no, that was a cop out. Kiss like the Brolins. Come That's on. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. Come on, yeah. I can't I'm like, I never kiss like that. I'm realizing this is not your dad's fault. It seems to be your mom who's She's not. She's a little frigid. Yes, yes. You posted a video of your mom. I, I noted uh, on your Instagram. Yes. I think we At we the have that party. video. This is the yes. after party. No, I bet there was some kissing going on uh, there. All huh? right. Now we see where I get it. I got first voted uh, off Dancing with the Stars, and so we see why. Uh <laughs>
Mom enjoying a little fun. debarge there at the party. Yeah. Did your parents get to meet any of the celebrities? Unfortunately, they did. They, uh, <laughs> my mom tied one off a little bit, and she was having fun. We ran into Tom Brady on the way out, actually. I was, I was you know, backstage going to my dressing room after the show, and I said, you know, a quick hello. And they're right behind me. And I'm thinking, they know the rules. Just keep walking. I'm barely, I'm like, sorry I exist, Tom. Like, I'm barely like, you know, and run past. And then I just hear, I'm Nikki's mom. And, I, and like, she was more, like, he would be impressed by that. He's like, I just learned this woman's, I just learned your daughter's name and I'm going to forget it by the time I get to my car. Like, I don't care. And she's like, wasn't she great? Like, he had to then go, yes. It was so, uh, it, you know, my mom had a lot of those moments of just like, Kevin, this Kevin, or Kevin. You've got it. I think you're gonna be big. And I go, he's never gonna be big, but she, she goes, I've never seen him anything. I go, all you watch is Dr. Phil in Below Deck. Kevin isn't on those things. I'm sure he will be next week, but he's literally in everything. So she was having fun. There was a lot of those moments. And now you have this big HBO special yes. coming up this weekend. Sunday what great timing. I mean, really. Totally coincidental, I know. Can I ask, did you plan that? You're like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to murder on the roast one weekend, and then that will help me promote my special No, next. it was totally coincidental. It was, it's, it's all feeding into itself. But it's really like if you want to see an extension of, if you want to see me roast myself, tune into the special. Like, I, that's, I turn it on myself in this. And it's the same kind of fierceness, the same kind of well-written jokes, I, I hope. And, um, you know, in honesty, that's what it's about. Like, these roasts are all about what's the most true thing I can say about this person. So that's kind of what the special is about. It's just, it's dark. I filmed it in Seattle because I just knew that they would understand the thoughts of suicide uh, that I sometimes it is, have. It is one of the, yeah, yeah per capita. They, they, and they got it. They're, I think they're just behind Vegas in <laughs> yes. that respect, yeah. A and dentists. And dentists, yes. yes, right. A lot of dentists in Seattle. Yeah. That's why everyone's teeth are so beautiful <laughs> yeah. up there. So you did it in Seattle, yeah. and the title is... Someday You'll Die. Someday You'll yeah. Die. Yeah, and it's just a reflection on how that is uh, something that is a terrifying thought. Like, sometimes I just, like, remember, like, oh, I have to die someday. And it kind of hits you, like, <laughs> oh, damn it. Like, it's kind of like when you remember you have to get your real ID at some point. You're just like, oh, what is that going to be? <laughs> I don't even know how that works. And then, and then sometimes, as a person that suffers with depression, it's a, it's a nice thought. Like, it can be both to me. And I, I suffer with depression, and I'm always looking for n new, like, cures to turn to. And according to my friends without depression, um, it's make your bed every morning. And so I, I have to give that one a whirl. Do you do that? No, because I'm still in it at 2 p.m. when I'm depressed. So it's hard to make it on top of yourself. Yeah, it is hard for a comedian yes. to make their bed in the morning. Absolutely. Or to do anything at all. Or to do but anything. Do you make it right before like lunch or whatever? I don't make it at all. And I think that is something that would help my self-esteem. It's just to so tidy up around myself. But I'm kind of a mess. I yeah. think it would be nice if your mom stopped by the house. You know what, Mom? There's something you can do. <laughs> <laughs> you did it for me as a kid every single day. Yeah, and that's why, why I don't do it now. I'm like, uh, who's to do it? Yeah. In your spare time when you're not making out with Dad. <laughs> All right, well, uh, congratulations <laughs> on uh, what a big week. It's Thank uh, you, Jimmy. The Rose on Sunday and then Nikki Glazer, Someday You'll Die premiere Saturday night, 10 o'clock on HBO and Max. Nikki Glazer, everybody, will be back with Sarah McLaughlin. Oh, God.